really sure what's in it, but like these things look good, so. Cheese. Uh oh, code red. I'm going in. There's some old windmills here. Um, they're called the Kinder Ditch windmills, and I'm totally saying that horribly. But, anyways, they're these old windmills. Um, we have to take a water bus to get there. Um, so, we think that you just pay for your tickets when you get on. So, hopefully, that's the case. Um, that's where we're headed now, and we are just gonna pack some PB and JC for breakfast. <laughs> And we're gonna head over there. It should be pretty cool. So this is our second full day in Rotterdam. Uh, yesterday, we didn't really do much, nothing film worthy. Uh, we just walked around. It's kind of just like a big city here. Uh, our Airbnb host was telling us that um, this Rotterdam was bombed during World War II. So then everything here is new construction. So as he said, nothing here is really older than 1970. So it's just like a modern city, which we don't love that much, you know. You can only spend so much time here. There's some cool architecture, but... Yeah. But then the other thing was, is that it was pretty bad weather yesterday. It was rainy and cold. The sun's out today. It's kind of brisk this morning, but the sun's out. So we're hoping, and the skies look clear. Yeah, and it's still so early. It's crossing like... crossing our fingers that... Oh, I lost you guys. <laughs> We're crossing our fingers that it'll be warm. Yeah. Hopefully. Because it was really cold yesterday. Because <clears throat> supposedly the windmills are a lot better when it's warm and sunny out. So it looks like it's going to be good. The forecast says it's going to be decent. So That's why we picked this day to do this. is because this is the nicest day that we were going to be here. Yeah. yeah, for sure. It only showed a little bit of rain. <laughs> so. All right. We heard people pronouncing it as Kinderscheich, so hopefully that's a little closer to the correct pronunciation. Um, but we made it and it's so cool. There's The windmills are beautiful. Um, and I did look up online and it is a UNESCO World Heritage Site as of 1997, um, which we've been to a couple of those now, so it's, it's really awesome. Um, there's quite a lot of people here, um, but it's pretty big. There's a lot of space and I want to say there's 19 windmills. Um, so yeah, we're just looking around and it's a lot of fun. The other thing that we learned about the windmills was that they were made originally to control flooding in the area. I guess this whole area is really flat and they would get a lot of flooding. So then they built all these windmills. There used to be a lot more. I don't know exactly how many there were, but there used to be a lot more. And these windmills would run pumps that would then pump the water out of the areas and then keep, I think, farmland dry. It would either keep the land that they're farming dry and not flooded, or it would provide irrigation for their farmland, or maybe both, I don't know. But yeah, very, very cool. Um, and then, so then the other thing is that 
They're also houses, which we didn't know. So people would just live in them. So these windmills were operational, but they're also people's houses. And they've restored a couple of them. And actually two families still live in two of the windmills, which is pretty cool. And then there's a museum that you can go into and check it out a little bit more. Alright, so I think we're gonna head back. We've walked the whole way of the windmills and it's been really awesome. Yeah, really cool. And the weather held up. It's nice. Yeah, it's probably it's been like nice. hot. Like uh, I don't know, like 72-ish. Yeah, it's been hot. And um, so I think we're gonna go back and get some lunch. Yeah, um, those PB and J's aren't really doing it for us. No. <laughs> We've been eating a lot of PB and J's lately. <laughs> So we're gonna go to the big market here and hopefully find some food. We went there yesterday and there was a lot of good stuff. And it's I just pretty got cheap too. by a stinging nettle. Yeah, she's been whining about the stinging nettle. Um, so yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do next. Uh, we've gotta catch the water bus back and we'll see you when we get there. Uh oh, code red. I'm going in. So I'm going to be finishing the uh, food review on these ones. Because we do not want to have a... I said code red, but I meant code brown. What did you call it? Those are decent. Decent at best. It kind of just tastes like a uh, mozzarella stick. But I will eat them. Okay, so that thing, that pizza thing, was very, very spicy, and I think that maybe is what that guy meant. He said three words to us, and I think one of them was probably, actually, they were probably all very, very spicy. That's three words. Um, Madison handled it good. She can handle some spice. That would have put a lot of people on their backs. But all right, so that's gonna do it for the Netherlands for us. Actually, it was very quick. We spent three days in Rotterdam. Um, I wish we would have seen Amsterdam, but... It's really expensive though, so... Really expensive. A lot of cheddar. But yeah, so today was... <laughs> today was fun. Um, yeah. Went and saw the windmills, which were cool. We spent probably like three, four hours over there. The weather was nice. And we spent the rest of the afternoon just walking around. We laid in the park for a while because it was really sunny. And yeah. I'm sunburnt, I'm sure you can see. <laughs> Overall, if you're coming to Rotterdam, you probably don't need more than a couple days yeah. to see everything. Yeah. Like, Unless like you're we, going to Amsterdam, too, or other places, too. Yeah, it'd probably be a good jumping off spot from Amsterdam, or for Amsterdam. Mm -hmm. You can take, I think the train's 40 minutes, but then you can also take buses there for the day. 
Uh, let's see. Yeah, we were walking around today, and there's a lot more people out in the evening than yesterday yeah. because it was, I mean, kind of cloudy and cold, windy yesterday. yesterday. And we were walking around at like six, seven o'clock. Like, man, what is going on? Does everybody go in early? And then we we're out tonight, and it was just real busy. So mm -hmm. it was because it was nice out finally. So yeah, overall it was fun, and we are off to Germany. Next. Yep, Munster is next. So we get on a train. It's like a five hour train ride tomorrow to Munster. So it'll be our first experience in Germany. I'm super excited for schnitzel and brats. Yeah, the schnitzel and brats. Especially brats. So excited. I'm real excited for brats. And the beer is supposed to be good. Yeah, we're on top of the boat right now. Everybody's yeah. gone, so we decided to come up here to yeah. film because <laughs> it's kind of dark. And it's pretty nice up here, though. Yeah. Not a bad spot. Yeah, it's nice. So, it's just kind of cold out here, so. Let's see. Um, make sure to like the video, subscribe to our channel, share with your friends, turn on the notifications, and yeah. We'll see you in Germany. We'll see you in Germany. So today we Getting came on to... that IG story game. Oh. Look at the top of that shoe off. I got poop on my shoe and I'm getting in trouble. Why aren't you in focus? There we go, baby. No. Oh, hello. My hair's so gross. Oop, there it is. <laughs> I just said it's a mean plant. It hurts. My hand is hurting. It just really hurts. It's swollen. My thumb's swollen. <laughs>